it's Amanda, and I'm coming to you with a Swatches with Friends video. This is actually going to be a pretty short video. Um, actually, I mean, yeah, it's going to be a short video because I, I didn't grab the other samples that I had here, but I had four samples sitting here from a couple of, from like three pen friends, and I wanted to go ahead and uh, show them off. So we have um, Noodlers 1984. This is a special edition. I have no idea if you can still get it. Uh, but this was a sample from Pen Friend Sean. And then we have, uh, this label's coming off, but we have a Noodler's Anti-Feather, and I believe this is the blue. It looks like it's the blue. There's a X Feather, which is black, and this is Anti-Feather, which is blue. This is from Pen Friend Penny, who sent um, the uh, wooden um, sample vial holders. Then we have uh, Birmingham Pen's Copper Chloride. Um, oh, that looks like it's gotten, have I gotten... Oh, it's just written on there. That's okay. Um, I thought I like got stuff on it. Anyway, um, copper chloride. Uh, this is from Pen Friend Sarah, and she also sent a sample of Vinta um, Blue Blood, which is I never say this right. Do Do Gong uh, Bug How Bug How? I'm not sure. Um, yeah. So it's uh, Vinta Blue Blood. It's a from what I remember. I think I've actually gotten a sample of this. I think. I have a bottle of this. Pen Friend Sandy sent, sent me a bottle of it, um, but it's a blue ink with like lots of sheen. So yeah, so I have seen this, but we're going to go ahead and swatch it anyway because Sarah was kind enough to send it. Um, yeah, so anyway, I have lots of ink to sample or to swatch, but um, when you all send me things, it's important to me to kind of showcase you as the kind, wonderful, brilliant humans who have sent me fun things to play with. So. Um, yeah, so this is going to be a short video. We're just going to swatch four inks. I'm actually going to probably record a bunch of videos. I'm off today, and I have lots of things that I want to do. So, um, yeah, so I, I took yesterday. So yesterday was my first day on vacation, um, and I just, like, I was, like, a complete bum all day. And today, um, I'm feeling like doing some things. Um, I do want to um, follow up on the uh, Lamy um, studio. Um, a, pen, a friend of the channel, Yobo, um, who hasn't made any videos in a while, um, you know, that 30 inks, 30 days really, uh, get really, it really gets you. So <laughs> I'm sure they have a life. They have, they've been busy, but anyway, um, they, um, he asked if this pen is a uh, fingerprinty and I would say no, the finished itself is not fingerprinty. The um the metal like on the clip and on the section can be fingerprinty. This could be because I wear lotion all the time. Um, I always have to um like if I wash my hands and don't put lotion on my hands, like feel terrible. Um, the only thing that I will say is I don't know if it's my nib or if it's the um Ink Institute. Oh, I put the sample away. Um, cat at noon. I don't know if that ink is just super dry. It's the first time I've written with it and it's just really dry out of the nib. So I'm not sure if it's the ink or if I have to adjust the nib because I, my Lamy broad nibs are always like super wet and juicy and they get a like fairly wet like letter on a page. I don't have any spare paper sitting here. Um, but I, but it's not writing as wetly or as juicily as I would like. So I don't know if it's the ink or if it's the uh, nib. I'm going to actually probably, um, clean it out and put an ink that I'm super familiar with in it so I can uh, determine that and then maybe need to adjust the nib as needed. Um, or, I mean, I can always swap it, but it's a perfectly fine nib. I just need to make it wetter if possible and that's easy to do. So yeah so the finish itself is not it doesn't seem very fingerprinty it's not like the piano black which i think probably gets a lot of fingerprints on it or like i don't know i'm trying to think of a pen that gets lots of fingerprints on it i can't think of one but like you know like a sleek black pen that you can probably see lots of fingerprints on um yeah no i'm 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 all over it and i don't see really any fingerprints the finish i think the glossy finish is not it's not it's it makes it shiny but it it doesn't attract the fingerprints plus this finish is sparkly so i don't think that um really it does like i feel like it stuff does cling to it like i feel like i'm always like wiping stuff off of it but um yeah it's a pretty it's a pretty pen and i like 
I've liked writing with it aside from the dry, the kind of dry ink experience. So I haven't really used it a whole lot. So like I said, I'm going to clean it out. I mean, I did flush it before I used it and um, because, you know, Lamy tests their inks. Uh, but this is the first time that I've written with the Cat at Noon ink. I've only just swatched it. So. so yeah, so if you have experience with it and can confirm if it's dry or not, just so I know that I'm not going um, insane, um, that'd be great, but no big deal. I'm still probably going to clean it out and try a different ink. Um, yep, yeah. so anyway, that's a little update on that. Now we're going to go ahead and get swatching. Um, as always, my swatch supplies are um, these uh, cola rings. This is, um, I actually found one when I was cleaning. So this is partial, this is a partial one that I have. So I haven't had to break into the ones Ramona sent yet. But um, these are the coloring um, ink testing books. Um, they're from Skylab Letterpress, um, designed by Will Appointed Desk. And uh, yeah, they're great. You can get them um, from Well Appointed Desk directly, um, maybe from Skylab Letterpress. I'm not sure if they have a shop on their website. I think that they do. But um, Well Appointed Desk, um, her, uh, Anna has a shop on her blog. And also pen retailers like everywhere, basically. Um, so yeah, so I have those. And then um, I'm using some black construction paper as background. We're gonna see how this goes for swatching purposes. Um, and then I have an assortment of random paint brushes that I've gotten at craft stores off to the side. And then my uh, glass dip pen, as always, is the Moon Man and a six. This is a, uh, this one doesn't post, but um, yeah, it's a really nice pen. Um, you can get them off Amazon, off eBay, and now Jet Pens sells uh, this specific model. Um, you can get this color if it's in stock. I think there's like an orange one, a blue one, a pink one. Um, there's a quite a few different colors. And then somebody commented that it looks like I have the blue cap. And um, it's purple, but I think there it's two different purples. Like this one definitely does have a little more blue in it. I think it's just two different purples, and it doesn't bother me. But I I did I did notice it, so yeah. <laughs> so I just thought that I would share that with you. And yeah, let's get going. So we're gonna start with a swatch card. I wonder if I should like tilt. Oh, and I've got water. I wonder if I should tilt the camera like I do when I do. Is it gonna let me when I do um, like the writing sample? Let's try that because I do everything at an angle and I feel like, oh, but then you can see the table. What if I zoom in a little bit? I know we're gonna technical. Okay, we'll see. Okay, we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Um, I'm going to start with uh, copper chloride because that's the first one that I grabbed. Oops. This is uh, Birmingham pen copper chloride. This is from pen friend Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Where's my kitty cat? Oh, oh, oh. And I have my trusty kitty cat vial holder. This is a toothbrush holder. It was a gift from a viewer, Cassandra, and um, it's a toothbrush holder that she uh, got at Daiso. I've had it like a year at this point. I don't know if they still have these exact things, but he could probably find something cute um, there. I've also looked on like Etsy for um, things like that. So here's copper chloride there, oops I was gonna stick the whole dip pen with the cap in there that would not have worked so well I mean it would have been a pretty broad line <laughs> so it's one of the ones that I previously didn't get in one of the releases and uh, this is from pen friend Sarah oh I have another SB I know so many Sarahs you're all amazing and I love all of you. But this Sarah I know who's, knows who she is. It's copper chloride. This reminds me of like that um, Samantha Verde Capri Blue. You know, it's just a pretty like turquoisey. Pretty turquoisey blue, but this is Birmingham's version of it. So it's very lovely. Kind of, it's got like that kind of Lamy Pacific vibe going on a little bit. I don't think it has the sheen that Lamy Pacific has. So I have to. I'm gonna try to be careful in doing these because I'm using paper as the background, 
And if I mess it all up, then then the paper gets all messy. Yeah, that's that's a stunning color. This would work in one of my like turquoisey turquoisey pens. Or maybe we'll do that. I've been cleaning pens like mad. I just like find pens that I've like been meaning to clean that I've just like set aside to not gather dust but to just 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 to mind their own business and I've just been like cleaning pens like nobody's business so here we go stunning like turquoisey color all right that seemed to work out let's try that again let's see if we can get that to work out I'm gonna watch myself while I write because I wasn't doing that before um, we're gonna finish it off with uh, Sarah's um, we have Vinta blue blood it's a pretty blue and I know that it does um, some super shading what it is. Oh. Let's go, Shiny Blue. So what have you all been up to? I have been working insane amounts of work. Um, this vacation is much needed. The uh, need to do literally nothing is much needed. So we have that. I like, I love the spots where it breaks like that. That is my favorite part. Cause then you get to see like the lighter bits, but also the darker bits. And I love it. It's, it's my favorite thing. Um, I hope that happens like on every single swatch card that I do. If it's an ink that will have shading. Um, so we're not doing too bad. We're going to try this again. It seems to be working out. Um, we're going to continue with the blues and we're going to use Noodler's Anti-Feather. I have used um, X-Feather before, like a long, long time ago. This is a, wow, this is a blue. Um, but it's been a really long time. I don't tend to use a lot of Noodler's inks. I have a lot of samples that I probably need to get through. Um, and I have a few bottles of some of my favorites, but I don't, yeah, Noodler's... Despite, I don't know, there's a, um, let's see, this is from Pen from Penny. Noodlers is not a brand that I actually use a lot of. Looks anti feather. That's a pretty nice blue, though. You know, I just, it's, um, yeah, I don't know. There's just uh, stuff there and like inks can cause problems and I just, I'm kind of scared to use them and I just like don't agree with politics necessarily and I just, yeah, there's just, there's stuff there. There are a few like exceptions that I've made for colors that I really, really love, but
that said, they're, it's great for like people getting into inks because they're affordable and you get like a crap ton of ink. My first, my first like big bottle of ink was um, Noodler's Black because that's what everybody was using and I like didn't know like you know what was out there and I was like oh like I didn't even use black ink at the time because I actually prefer using blue ink um and but everybody that was using fountain pens when I found them was using Miller's black so I followed what everybody else was doing because I didn't know any better and I was too scared, like I didn't know to discover things on my own, you know? And now, I just use everything! <laughs> so there we go, that's that one. This, I hope, I wonder if this is going to take like a long time to dry. We'll see. That's a really nice blue though. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Last, but most certainly not least, we have another Noodler Inc. This is a special edition called 1984, and I actually don't know much about this ink other than it's a special edition. So this is going to be very exciting. It looks like it's a brown, but I don't know if that actually means it's brown or if it's like a brownie sort of purpley color. I, I literally have no idea about the ink. I saw it was out there, but um, like was like, oh. And then uh, Pen Friend Sean said they wanted to send me a sample, and I was like, heck yeah. And um, But I didn't want, I wanted to be surprised, so I didn't go look at it further. So I don't know if it's like a brown, or a burgundy, or a purple that just looks brown in the vial. It looks like, kind of like it could be a burgundy. It's really pretty on the nib. This is from Pen Friend Sean. Noodlers. It's really wet off the nib. 1984. Like I said, I have no idea if you can still get this. I know that I did see it on Van Ness's website, but I don't know if they still have it. But you could check your favorite Noodlers Inc. retailer. I'm sure that they will sell it to you if it's available. Super generous sample, so I gotta be very careful. <laughs> All right. So it is kind of a dark brown. This is a really pretty color. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what the significance of the color to the name is, um, so I'm gonna have to check that out. I read 1984 the book in high school. No, actually I didn't. I didn't read uh, 1984 in high school. We read Animal Farm and I hated Animal Farm. I hated Animal Farm so much. It's the only book that I've ever thrown away. I literally, when we were cleaning out our lockers, tossed it in the trash can. Um, Yeah, I just, I, for whatever reason, I hated 1984. I don't know, and I've never gone back to reread it to find out, like, what I actually hated about it. I don't even remember what I hated about it. I just remember that I hated it with a fiery passion. This is a really pretty color. I'm checking the back because sometimes Noodlers inks like to eat through these cards. This is a very pretty color. Okay, so I'm going to let these dry, and then we're going to come back and see what they look like all dry and all pretty. And, um, yeah, I will see you in just a moment. And we are back. We're going to look at our dried swatches. We have Birmingham Pens uh, Copper Chloride, this really stunning bright blue. Then we have our Vint Inks Blue Blood, which is super sheeny. And then we have, oops, is this still drying? Looks 
like it's mostly dry. Uh, Noodler's Anti-Feather. It does look like it has a little bit of sheen in some of these um, spots that have a lot more ink. I, or maybe it's more of a halo because it's more around the edges. I don't know if this ink will feat with, um, not feather, will um, sheen when you're writing with it. But it looks like there is some on the swatch card where some of the ink was laid down. This is a really stunning blue. Almost looks... This is like a turquoisey blue, and this is more of a blue blue to me, although it looks kind of purpley next to that one. And then we have Noodler's Special Edition 1984. This is a beautiful brown. This, I've got a teeny tiny little bit of like greenish sheen in this one spot that has a lot of ink on it. I don't really notice it in the writing at all. Or in the little scribble, so I don't know if it's supposed to sheen or if we just got lucky with some... With some um, um, ink application but yeah that's a stunning color and it looks really nice I love how I, pen friends I love how you all planned your color selections we kind of go from like a light to a dark sort of situation like a light turquoise a darker turquoise with red sheen a darker blue a darker brown very nice very nice very nice thank you for coordinating your ink samples with me I appreciate that <laughs> all right so Thank you so much, Sarah and Penny and Sean, for these ink samples. I really um, appreciate them. I can't wait to get them in pens. Um, I have some more pens to clean out, I think. I have my currently inked from um, a couple weeks ago that I'm trying to uh, finish using up. And I've actually, like, stuck to those pens mostly. There's been, like, one or two where I've, like, used other pens. But I've mostly stuck to those. And I've actually emptied a couple of pens, so... Um, yeah, so I'm going to maybe look at things and see about maybe cleaning some of them out. Some of those had ink, have had ink in those. Some of them have had their ink in them for a long time, and I'm kind of ready for a change. So um, we'll see what happens. But yeah, thank you again, Sarah, Penny, and Sean, for sending these uh, wonderful ink samples. I really appreciate it, and thank you for watching. Um the video and um, not only like sending me stuff but um, watching videos and commenting and uh, communicating with me and everybody watching the video thank you so much and uh, we've gotten a few more um, a few more uh, people that have subscribed and that's really exciting so uh, yeah so thank you for watching and um, yeah I love you and appreciate you and I hope that you're having having a fantastic day I will see you again very soon um, because I'm going to go record some more videos. <laughs> anyway, um, like I said, I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you very soon. Take care. Love you. Bye.